Hi there, it's Amy Freak 995 and all I have to say is what an intro. But anyway, welcome to a brand new Let's Play and to be honest, I've been looking forward to this. I just don't know why, I just do. Uh, we want to do a new game. Select a body, alright. Uh, we got the Volkswagen. Now that actually has a, um, a racing paint on it, which is, you can actually buy it cheaply, so... But unfortunately, I don't want to pick that. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, a Land Rover. Maybe. Nah. A bus. Oh, well. Uh, right. Let's go with the Celica. Oh, we can, what do we call it? Uh, of course, I believe you can actually name with every car, so. Just at the hell of it. We all love her, and we know we do. Duffy! Right then, so the, the main goal that I'm focusing on here today on penny races is to actually do every race first. Maybe collect every part, I'm not sure, but anyway. First, let's head into school to get our licenses. Now, I'm not aiming to get all gold, because I'm pretty sure you don't get nothing from it, but... Oh well. There we go. And also, it's kind of interesting on the, um... QRQ side. Uh... Right now, this is the very first one pen Penny Races, Cure 2 1. Cure 2 2, Road to Adventure. Uh, Cure 2 3, it's, it's out in Japan, but not, it hasn't been sold to the US. I believe there's maybe a couple of US versions. It's called Gadget Races, which is the same style as Cure Q 2. And then there's the fourth one, which I'm not sure what it's called. But it has the style of penny races, so 
I don't know why they decided to do this style for the future game. But, yeah, it was a good game. Looks pretty good as well. Well, all the Cure Cubes do. And I believe they also have a tank and a boat racing game. So they have done a lot of games there. Bloody hell. Also, at the body, I'm going to give them different names, but however, if you want to, I'm going to be doing shouts out to the Pokemon stuff. If you want to leave in the comments what what name would you would like to shout out to, or maybe just put random shout outs to you guys, or to call them body. So, leave in the comments what body do you think I should use, and what would you like to call it, obviously. I know what some of you might be already picking, get the G... Get the pick DS and pick the DS body. I will do that. I will pick, I will choose the um, 4 GT and call it DS. And maybe call the Fry PO from the from Road to Adventure. Oh, by the way, I said in Road to Adventure that DS and PO make a return in the Grand Prix. If you, yeah, they do. DS and PO is actually the ones you should be looking up for in the Grand Prix. Forest is also in there. Uh, Lisa, Lisa, I believe, is also in there. I can't remember now who <laughs> else is in there. There's actually quite a lot of uh, returns in that game. Well, not a lot, but quite a few. So, yeah. And also, there's actually a brilliant game. I think that has more body designs, and also there's a button that you can jump somehow. Dodge, like, obstacles and all like that. <clears throat> so yeah, that sounds actually pretty good. I hope that makes a. Uh, I hope that comes out in the U US or UK. Maybe there is. I'm not sure. Probably have a little look later. So yeah. Right. So this is actually repeated three times. The school. This is actually for the league, which. Uh, it's actually to require for the next part to actually get the end credits up. So we might as well do the league last. Alright then, it's so now just off-road. We're going off-roading. Not sure how long this first part is going to be, but... Woo! We passed. Right, standard off road. All I remember is the last one for this is a pain in the bum. For sure. Because, I don't know, the car just slides about. Ow, come on, jump. There we And I have no idea why, but I think Mario Kart 7 reminds me a lot of this game. I don't know why with the repello and the glideness. I think it just really reminds me of this game. Maybe that's where they, they got some of their ideas from, I just don't know. Oh yeah, and also, I was... I forgot to say, some of you, it was like, I posted a video up about... Oh, what was it? Sonic Riders Zero Gravity? Oh uh, dear, let's play that. I am still going to do it, but I might as well do the Let's Plays back in order, because I've got them a bit muddled up due to the lack of games, and also PS3 is still broken, so I can't do Sonic 06. God damn it. Which is going to be a quite fun game, because there's so many glitches on there. Well, if you know how to play the game. If you don't know how to play the game, there'd be sheer hell for you, but... No, I think the one thing with the Sonic game is you need to know what flaws they're going to be. I know, my mind sounds so stupid, but... A, if you can get the hang of it, then you should be able to do the game no problem, but... The flaws! So many goddamn glitches. It's uncountable, but... Yeah. Now, I 
come on. How fast is the speed on the car? I don't really like this because it gives you a really low speed limit. <laughs> so we got our O license. I still want to know where those lasers come from. Anyway. So since we have our Smexy O license, let's head to the garage. Alright, let's see what we got. We got our family engine. No, no. Right then. Let's head into the shop. Now you know you can do it by the left and right keys, but I prefer the shortcut method where you press R1. You can also do this in the Grand Prix, which actually is really helpful, but yeah. Right, so we've got the engines, the chassis, which I hardly buy. I don't know why. So we've got tyres, which we need. Uh, okay. Brakes. No, steering. Hell yes. That. CUP. Uh, we're going to need that. So much stuff we need. It's uncountable. Uh, okay. Right. Okay, so this will all help, help in the World Grand Prix, especially when you're trying to hit other races because their durability. Speed, maybe. Top, ah, the wings of Apollo. They make you glide on some areas of the track. You may need them for some courses. Spoiler, just increases top speed. Propeller makes you go faster underwater and on water if you have the floats. These make you float on water and the skis is just a snow. I highly recommend getting the skis on the snow, snow course. So yeah, there's most of the parts and the horn. Bad boy horn, what the frick. Okay then, well, let's get what we came here for, which is the turbo engine. Hell yeah. Let's equip it. Alright, let's do our first race. Right, let's see what we've got. We've got Sprint, Grand Prix, and that's ending regulation. Which is 200cc and under. Okay then, Dad engine included. We don't have it. We've got to go 280cc. <laughs> Alright then, let's get on with our first course. Worth for 300 grand. Ooh. I wish we could name our the money as well, that'd be great. My word did a road of Avenger. It's like we can think of so many things to make money now on that game. I wanted to call it ponies. We have 100 ponies in our car. How is this possible? Come on, this car can go faster than this. Oh wait, it's in kilometers. It can go more faster than this. Alright then, there's our first race. Oh, pardon me. And we got 300 ponies. Because that's what we're going to call it. I forget it. Just 300G. 300. Right then, there's other courses, but I wouldn't do them yet because we have bad parts, but we might as well just show them off anyway. Now, we'll have these like elite races against these. Uh, see there, the Hummer. They'll be different because we have the uh, racing vinyls, where we, the others have the normal colours. Those are the ones we've probably looking out for for the starter and maybe the second. The third one, it is just mess. Um, the elite races can't even catch up to some of the normal races on that thing. Well, then there's elite races, more pro races. Uh, 
So I'm already going home. Uh, and other ways to go. Going in six. Seven. This is how much we badly need parts. However, what I highly suggest against steering, definitely, for this course. Oh, by the way, also I forgot to mention is, try and not to hit the wall, whatever you do. It'll give you a racing bonus, it'll give you a racing bonus, which I completely forgot to do in the first race. Ah. Uh. Which is, I, I can't, I find it hard to do on some certain races to hit the wall, but... Have we hit the wall in this place? I've forgotten. Right, so we come lucky number seven. Woo! Celebrate, crash into other races. And we got a, a that is useless. Right, let's head to the shop again. Right then, road racer. Let's see what's there. Got body one, obviously. The main bodies, except for the six, I believe. Got six and heavy. There's that. Okay. I want to get that for sure. I want to get that. There's Diaz. Uh, well, that's pretty good. 350, 350, 300Z, the Arc 7, and all those others, known as the FD. And uh, 911. Ah, don't say that! I don't know why Porsche named their cars 911, but. Oh, yeah, shop. We want to buy some stuff. Right then, let's see. Uh, there we go, transmission. I believe we have enough for quick steering if we sell our parts. No, there we go. Right. We want to sell parts, not buy parts. Right then, after that, which gave us nothing, and that, which still gave us nothing, we're still heartbroken. So yeah, so this is a start, you have to have to race a lot to get good parts. And oh my, you have to do a lot of racing just to get, like, something, I don't know. But what I highly recommend is go for like a second place or anything. If you're gonna nab first, don't do it because the price is drop. Now let's try and get like racing bonus. I'm not sure I hit an opponent to count, but oh yeah. yeah our top speed just increased a little bit. A little bit. Increased uh, uh, I say yeah, I say a little bit. Not a huge amount, but we're getting there. There we go. Nope, we still haven't got that racing bonus, damn you. Back to the shop. Right, we came for steering. Alright then, after I quit the steering, I think I'll end it off here. So in this part, we just managed to get started, and in the next part, we'll be doing... More school stuff. 
and also for more races with bet with more money. So I will see you later. Take it easy.